morning. Let's go. Up and over. All right, so we have the warm up. We have the 22 push ups. We have a little upper band block. Eight segments come across. Eight segments, 30 seconds each. Get everything warmed up for the block. The block is nine exercises long. We go through it twice. Pinky, 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 two. Well, we go through it once, all on the right side. And then we have a little upper block. I think I did the five exercises. But we're not gonna do kickbacks because they're part of the program, so we're gonna do back scratchers. Side to side, come on down. And then we're gonna do that block one more time, but everything's gonna be on the left. The block has nine exercises. Only three cardios. No slams, no burpees. Oh, bring those feet right underneath those hips. Drop those shoulders, squat and squeeze through those heels. Squeeze those glutes on the way up. Get those arms above. Nice big shoulder rolls. Alright, let's do those walkouts. Those feet hinge at the hips. Come down all the way to that nice strong plank. Bring the leg up. Open up. Bring that core engaged the whole time when you stretch out those legs. Ooh, bring it back down to that plank. Walk it back up. Tuck that chin. Roll those shoulders a couple times. Get into that little jog. All right, so our nine exercises, that reverse lunge floor to balance press. Four butt kickers, four high knees, surrenders with halos, curtsy with opposite hammer, skip with a clap under, going to jacks in three, in two, jack it out. We got a two dumbbell side bends, half squat with rotation press, side lunge hops, and kickbacks. You got high bends in three, two, come on. We got butt kickers in three, in two. Drop those shoulders, nice long spine, tighten the core. We got steamrollers in three, in two. Nice and wide, drive them up and across. We got Frankenstein's coming up. Three, two, ooh, arms out, kick it up. So the first strength exercise is 40 seconds. That middle cardio exercise is 25. And the last, the third uh, strength exercise is a 30 second. So it's gonna be like that for the both blocks. And mummies, you had to keep them the same because we were doing right left. So I couldn't change anything. Well, I could have, but I chose not to.
Four more. Three, two, shake it out. All right. Start on your toes, do your best. Three, two, 22 push up. Let's go. Hands underneath those shoulders. Your body is a board. Get those elbows at 90 degrees. Take that rest whenever you need it.
Keeping that core engaged. Shoulders. Oh my God. Come on, come on. Two. Woo, and breathe. Put those dumbbells down. We're just going to do a little standing clam. So your feet are underneath those hips. You're just getting those knees out. So you're in like a half a squat. Can't even do it to the beat. Come on, come on. I fall behind. Breathe. We got regular biceps. Regular bicep curls. Roll those shoulders back, elbows in, palms out. Let's go, curl. Engage that core, you still have that tension in the band. Come on, come on, come on. Three, two, breathe. We're gonna put those bands right over the middle of our calf. We got scissor runs. Scissor runs, let's go. Scissor them out. Keep your core engaged. Your legs are, your knees are a little bit farther apart. Come on, come on, 10 more. A little bit wider, woo! Come on, that cardio, you got it. And breathe, take them off. Uh, all right, so first move, we've done it before. Right reverse lunge, dumbbell is in your right hand. You're gonna go to the floor, little hammer, little press. Trying not to put that foot down in between that movement. We got 40 seconds going in three, in two, pick her up, shoulders, let's go. That's it. Slow and control. Core is engaged. Power up. Woo! Nice 90-90. Don't let that back knee drop to the floor. Time under tension. Oh, breathe. I didn't hear it. Breathe. Good job, good job. Four butt kickers, four high knees. Let's go. Butt kickers, high knees. One, two, three, four, up, two, three, four. Ten more. Breathe. Surrenders with halo. So medium, down, down, up, up, and a little halo up top before we drop down. So let's go. Step, big step back, down, down. Big step forward, up, up. Nice tight core halo. If you have problems getting up from the surrender, Drop that dumbbell. Use your hand against your knee. Two, and breathe. We have a curtsy with the opposite hammer. So, I'm gonna hammer with my left, curtsy with my right. Shoulders, 
Let's go. So as you tap, you hammer. Keeping that elbow in your rib cage. It should feel fluid. If it doesn't, then your dumbbell may be too heavy. I don't want to go super heavy because I want to get some reps in with good form. Less than 10. Oh, almost off to lose my balance. Three, two, breathe. We got a skip clap under. So skip for a big march. Let's go for 25. Keeping your core nice and engaged, nice tall spine. That's it, T. A little finger touch underneath. Every time you bring your knee up, that's a core work. Two, breathe. Two good sized dumbbells. We got those side bends. So feet are parallel, but a little bit outside of hips. Shoulders rolled back. Let's go. So think about those muscles that are working in your back and your core. Woo! And that's the speed. So if you really want to go down deep, go down. 30 seconds, you want to get some reps in, keeping your shoulders squared, body between two pieces of glass. Breathe. All right, we got a half a squat with a rope, with rotation and press. So dumbbell's gonna start in my right hand. So half a squat, pivot press. Let's go. So that half a squat, you're still coming down on your heels, pressing up through your heels and pivoting. You're just not dropping all the way down. This workout was short and sweet today. So, going for reps. You want a leg workout, I think that's Monday. Rewind your YouTube and go watch the seventh. Woo! Three. Two, breathe. Side lunge hops. Make sure you have enough space. Let's go. Pop it and just a little hop in between. This is you are dropping low into that squat. Little momentum as you come up. Breathe. Kickbacks. Kickbacks for 30. Feet underneath those hips, slight bend. Roll those shoulders. One hinge, one row. Let's go. Kick. Palms stay facing each other. Long spine. Neck neutral, so your chin is not pressed against your chest. Come to 90, press them up. 90 to 180. Three, two, breathe. All right, we got 30 seconds. We got a Kleenex break. And we got some upper body. We're gonna do back scratches. Because we already have kickbacks in. But if you wanna do two sets of tricep extensions, you go for it. So back scratches. Pick it up three. Let's go. So your core is still nice and engaged. Spine is nice and straight. Bicep by your ears. You're dropping that dumbbell to the opposite shoulder blade. Ooh. Start, 
Start easy on the size of the dumbbell on this one and work your way up. That's all. Three, two, breathe. We're gonna go right to the other side. Three, set, let's go. So if you're doing those tricep extensions, you're still doing them. Take core, exhale every time. The lower you go, the more work that tricep needs to get that dumbbell up. Three, two, breathe. We got normal shoulder presses. This is our normal five blocks, so shoulder press. Let's go. So, if you want to go narrow, you can go narrow. I'm on the wider side, but as you come down, those wrists should be right over those shoulders. Nice, T. Exhale up, down. So you don't want to come down because you don't want to lose that tension, right? Nice job, nice job. Breathe, we got, we did curl the last time, so let's do some wide curls. So W's, get those elbows and palms out, curl them up, let's go. So, you can stay in that position, feet underneath those hips, slight bend in those knees, the core is nice and tight, or you can always do that kickstand. I have a bad habit of kickstanding on the same leg, I don't know if that's good or bad, so I try to remember to change legs. Three, two, breathe, we got rows, 30 seconds of rows. You know, summer's coming. We gotta start working more on our guns. Shoulders down and back. One hinge, let's go. Row them up. So I have my eight. I probably should have picked up my tens. So I'm just gonna pick up some speed. Not a lot of speed. My tailbone is out, my toes are wiggling. Spine is straight. Exhale every time. Bring them up. Elbows up and back, let's go. Come on, come on, three, two, breathe. Woo! All right. We're back to those nine exercises. Reverse lunge, floor, curl, press on the left. We have another 15 seconds. I'll have a little sip. All right, pick it up. Pick it up in your left hand. Fix those shoulders. Left leg back. Let's go. We talk about balance a lot. Right? The stronger your core, your obliques, your back, ankle stability, the better your balance gets. Some days you're like, oh, my balance is great. Other days you're like, my balance is complete shit. Well, those days, get a chair, stand next to a wall. Right? Remember to have patience for yourself. Five. Two. Breathe. Right? Woo, we got those four bunk kickers. Four high knees. Let's go. Two, three, four. So if your shoulder mobility sucks, 
And these are very awkward and very, hopefully not painful. Do the best you can. If it hurts too much, you can't do it. Just do a press. Stabilizing your core. Breathe. Curtsy with opposite hammer. So, dumbbells on my right, curtsy to the left. Let's go. Oh, you know what? I think I used my ten on the Tap. Shoulders are up and back. Tall spine. Engage that core. Exhale, that dumbbell up. Do more than that. How blooded. Come on, come on. Two. Breathe. Skip, clap under. Shake those arms out. Let's go. That's it. Driving that heart rate up just a little bit. Three, two, breathe. Side bends. Put your feet parallel but wide, shoulders down and back. Let's go. <clears throat> Think about your obliques. Don't just flip side to side. You know you're breathing, how that affects your core. Rotation on the left side. Racket, half squat, let's go. Squeezing that glute. Don't forget about that left cheek, squeezing it as you pivot. Fire them up. You've already activated them first thing with those bands. Keep them fired. Especially because we're not going in a full squat. Wiggle those toes. Come on. Three, two, breathe. Holy shoulders. Side lunge hops. Let's go.
All right, we're on the floor. We're on the floor. Same block as last week. Thought I was lazy, but I really like this block. And yeah, lazy, a little bit, a little bit. Woo, we got another eight seconds. I'm gonna sit here and enjoy it. We got crunches, leg drops, bicycles and scissors. Let's go, crunch it up. So you can do that three part crunch, right? Crunch, crunch, crunch a little more, back down. Whew. Really? Slow down and think about your core engaging, getting those shoulders off the floor, and breathe. Leg drops. Come on, hands by your side. Drop them as low as you can. If you can stay in that hollow hold position the whole time, that's better for your back. More work for your core. Especially because you can go super low. And once you go super low, getting it higher works the lower abs. Three, two, and breathe. We got bicycles. Fingers by your temples. Let's ride that bike. Come on. But I say you can ride your bike however you want it. And I mean that. But I want you to try different ways. I want you to try to get that elbow to the outside of the knee. That means you have to get more of your shoulder off the floor as you rotate, keeping your elbows wide. There are all different ways to and breathe. Scissors. Keep that hollow hold if you can. So if your lower back comes off the floor, you get higher. Your lower back comes still on the floor. Get those shoulders off the floor. Keep your legs low. Keep that fist between your chin and your chest. Three, two, one. Woo! Crunchy, crunchy. Let's go. We got less than two minutes. Oh, good tune. Come on, come on. Three, two, breathe. Leg drops. Get him up. Oh, sorry. <laughs> all the way up. Slow all the way down, right? No gravity here. Breathe. We got less than 60 bicycles. Let's go. Deep 
Extend one leg, one leg stays up, and bring it on, cross body, keeping those both of those shoulders on the floor. Ooh, big crack. See, sometimes you get things you don't even know you need. Put that leg back, other one comes up, and bring it on over. Straighten that out, coming right over to tabletop. Bring it, flip it right on over. Knees underneath, tuck those toes, hands underneath, get your cow. And your cat. And your cow. And your cat. Tuck those toes, come out to plank, uh, downward dog. Those, step those feet a little bit closer together and just walk them out. Press those heels into the floor, keeping that downward dog position. Ooh, walk it back to those feet. Tuck that chin, there's a lot of blood in your head right now, so nice and slow, roll it up, keeping your head down. Nice, easy, deep breaths. Bring it up and roll those shoulders. See, not a whole lot of jumping or anything. Sweat. See? Ooh, how about a little shoulder roll? Shoulder spine rotation? I don't know what the hell this is. Whatever. You know what I'm talking about. There you go. Neck roll, side to side. Oh, that feels delightful. Ooh. Shoulders down and back, and nice forward. Big, big, big back, forward. Get your balance, let's do a quad. That's all I was thinking about when I wrote this program is I wanted to do deadlifts. Did you see deadlifts on that program at all? No, me neither. Maybe tomorrow. Get your balance on the side. And get your balance, come on down, shake it on out, little high five, high fives. 